were making molasses. My dad done it. I just grew up around it. That was the fall crop and uh, we done it at a lot bigger scale than this. After he got up in years, we brought it up here and made for a few years and then we quit for a while. And then uh, here a few years ago when he passed away, uh, I've got two daughters and they said, well, it'd just be nice if we done that again. So here we are. <laughs> We uh, use uh, sugar cane uh, start in the uh, spring of the year and about the middle of May and plant it. And then in the fall of the year when it's ripe, we use corn knives just the way they used to do it. And we cut it and top the tops off of it, haul it in and use the press, press the juice out of it and catch it and cook it down and it's molasses. My wife, she learned how to cook it. I do the <laughs> setting up and maintenance and all the grunt labor, <laughs> she does the cooking. We use an evaporator pan. We run the cane through a, a press, a mill, to squeeze the juice out and run it into a holding tub and then from the holding tub we cook it down and make it into a syrup. When you get all of the impurities out of it and it's the right thickness, we run it off into a holding tank and then we'll put it into jars and seal it up. The old time people like it because that's what they grew up with for sugar. That's what they used it for, for sweetener. The taste itself, you either like it or you don't like it. And each year it's a little bit different. Weather will make a difference, the uh, temperature of your pan, the sugar content of the juice itself, so far this year, we think it's much sweeter than it has been in the past. I make candy with it. We make cakes, pies. It makes it very good. And I've got one granddaughter that every time she eats pancakes or waffles, she has to have sorghum. She doesn't want syrup. She wants sorghum. We've got a restaurant down here that puts it in their baked beans. It's pretty versatile stuff. Personally, I don't care for it. <laughs> but, you know, maybe that's because I've been around it so much. We sell it just off the farm, and we just kind of peddle it. Musgrave Orchard up between uh, Bloomington and uh, Martinsville, they sell it for us. For us anymore, it's just kind of a family get-together, you know. Come out here and do our thing. <laughs> a couple of days in the fall. <laughs>